In this video I'm going to show you how to make permanently mounted slides of an insect which I found and also of some algae and uh, I'll be using a mounting medium which is quite readily available. So no fancy and uh, poisonous substances but rather some glue, uh, some children's glue which I diluted down by adding approximately 10 to 15 percent water to make it a little bit more liquid. I carefully mixed it to um, prevent uh, bubbles from forming I let it stand uh, for a few days uh, so that the bubbles could escape and then I used this as a mounting medium to make some permanently mounted slides of some algae. Now I put the algae on a microscope slide, I removed uh, any excess water but it did not allow it to dry completely because the glue is water based and therefore um, it is compatible with uh, specimens that also uh, have contain water. So I simply added a small drop um, and then I added a cover glass, I sent everything and then I let it dry for a few days and as a matter of fact I was uh, quite surprised that, that um, it worked uh, quite well. Uh, the colors were retained also generally the structure of the specimen was retained quite well and this is something that we do not always see when we are using mounting media that contains solvents. So here, for example is a little water crustacean that was also preserved um, and uh, many of the solvent containing mounting media what they do is, is they dissolve the pigments of, of the algae and the chlorophyll started uh, to leach out and then this is of course um, a problem and of course the mounting medium can also be used uh, to connect and to glue um, a little label um, on the microscope slide um, uh, as well and then of course everything uh, can go into the box but I would like uh, to advise you that you first store the slide horizontally so that uh, it dries completely. Now I found this uh, dead insect um, on my windowsill and I said well the beautiful wings uh, so let's uh, try to also make a permanently mounted slide of those wings here. Um, specimen is quite different. In this case the specimen is uh, quite dry. Here it is under my stereo microscope and I'm also going to use now the glue, the, the PVA glue, and I try to place uh, the wings into a drop of glue but of course this is a little bit difficult because uh, um, of the large area of the wing. They floated on the top um, of the surface of the droplet and when I added some more glue on the surface yeah, it basically it kind of uh, went off. It didn't really um, connect well with the wing. Yeah, so I tried it in any case I used a slightly larger cover glass this time because I also used much more glue um, and then um, essentially um, I also had to center um, everything properly and there was also a little bit of glue spilling out um, and uh, now I put it under my first my stereo microscope and I could see that there are quite a lot of bubbles, air bubbles, because uh, beneath the wing or on top of it the air bubbles uh, yeah, could not escape so I carefully used my scissors or tweezers um, to press against the cover glass you can see that the air bubbles uh, were allowed to escape uh, this way. But of course by applying quite a bit of pressure what also happens is, is that um, you're squeezing out uh, quite a bit of the glue um, from, from under the, uh, the, the cover glass. So this is also a reason why you should not use this cover glass now to observe it directly because otherwise you might get some glue on the microscope objective. So let it dry first uh, and then you can observe it. Now under my compound microscope this is how it looks like and you can see that there are still quite a few smaller bubbles uh, visible. Um, yeah, so all of the air could not be removed but I think uh, um, with a little bit more patience uh, then uh, this is going to work uh, and uh, maybe I simply have to try a little bit more. Yeah, I hope uh, that uh, this video kind of helped you a little bit also to try out uh, this glue um, as a mounting medium. Um, yeah, I leave it at that for today. I hope the video was useful. If you did consider it useful, please do consider subscribing to this channel. I wish you all the best. A happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.